Yes. Pluralia tantums. Pluralia tantums. That's the next rule we are looking at in Concord. And um, pluralia tantums are nouns that come in plural forms. Do you understand? They normally come in what? Plural forms. Some of these have final S. Some of them have S in the back. To specify that it's plural, you understand? Whereas some do not, and some don't. However, whenever any of the following appears, whenever they appear, it must be followed by a what? Singular verb. It must be followed by a what? Singular verb. Is that clear? Pluralia tantums are those nouns that normally come in what? Plural forms. They may have S or may not. Is that clear? But whenever they come, they must be followed by a word, singular word, verb. Is that clear? Now we give an instance. School subjects. Physics. You understand? Physics. Can you say physic? That is a physics. Of physic. Is it possible? <laughs> it must always be physics, is it not? But physics is just one subject, is it not? Will it because you say it's physics now, you say ah. Is. Physics is a good subject. Physics is an interesting subject. Is that clear? Physics is an interesting subject. You don't say physics are an interesting subject. Does it sound good? Economics are an interesting subject. Does it sound good? Say economics is an interesting subject. It must come with a singular verb. Is that clear? So whenever you have two subjects like physics, mathematics, economics, civics, Statistics, all of them must come with a singular verb, is it not? They must be followed. Or uh, whenever you have things like disease, like mumps, you know what they call mumps? Mumps, it must be followed by a singular verb, is that clear? Mumps is a very bad or itchy disease. Is, it has to be is, is that clear? Now, whenever you have games like that, snake and ladder, skittles, ballads, ball, and doves, you understand? Games. What you must use is also singular, is that clear? So you have these classes of words, school subjects, diseases, games, books and magazine titles. A tale of two cities. The children of Annans. So if you want to say the children of Annans is an interesting book, will you say the children of Annans are an interesting book? You're talking about a book title. So you are not considering that children. You understand? If you are to make a statement with children, it should be a plural verb. But you are not considering it. You are just considering it as a title of just one, a title of a book. You are talking about that book. You understand? So you say the children of Annas is an interesting book. Now, the following words also take singular verb. When you have news, news, the news is legitimate. The news is interesting. Is that clear? You don't say the news are. Despite the fact that it comes as plural, but it comes with a singular word. Means, series, as in the series of incidents makes me shudder. The means of transport. The means of transport, essence, traveling. Now, very importantly, you have to note that there are some now that appear as plural and attract plural verb. Is that clear? This one would say that it appears as plural but attracts what? Singular verb. But now we are talking about the ones that appear as was plural and at the same time attracts what? Plural verb. Whenever you get such words as Middle Ages, Annals, Remains, Manners, Arms, particulars, holidays, they must come with a word plural verb. Is that clear? Is that you say her manners are good? You don't say her manners is good. Is that clear? Her manners are good. Dead body is referred to as what? Dead body is referred to as what? If you want to say his remains have been taken to the mortuary, what will you say? Is he have or has? Hmm? Have. 
You understand? Because it's among the words that go with a it's among the words that go with a plural verb, is it not? It's among the words that go with what? A plural verb. We have others like surroundings, thanks, troops. Others are things like troops, surroundings, and thanks. All these ones go with plural verb. Is that clear? 